G'day everyone, this is Sniper Elite 5, and we're going to look at the Win & Cole 1885 Sniper Rifle. Uh, it's a rather unique sniper rifle, let me just uh, go to the workbench and bring out the details. Uh, but first of all, let, just, just to let you know, it is a DLC weapon. So if you bring it up there, you can see on the left hand side, DLC, that's what it's labeled. Uh, but if we just bring up the details, we're going to customize it. Um, just first of all, reading on the bottom right, the Win & Cole Falling Block Rifle, chambered in the massive uh, 50 to 110 caliber, I think that's how to pronounce it, maybe 50 110, a caliber with extreme stopping power but a very slow rate of fire. Uh, so you can see from the uh, bar graph, the power is about pretty much 90% of the bar, rate of fire, very slow, maybe about 10%, uh, control about 40 to 50%, and mobility about uh, 30 35%, something like that. But uh, what you can see for sure is that the magazine size is 1. So pretty much every time you fire a bullet, you need to uh, reload a, another bullet into it or the chamber another bullet and that takes uh, quite some time as well. You'll see that in a moment once we're messing about in the shooting range. Uh, but you can see the auto range by default is 140 meters so very long distance of enemies going to hear you. Just keep that in mind. Uh, but just the attachments are going to look, we're pretty much starting off with everything standard. Um, you do have a lot of different um, sites to choose from. Now uh, the highest site you can get in authentic zoom is the ZF39 at six times. Um, but you can see on the right, bottom right the picture. I'm not too fond of this uh, scope uh, because it's got like uh, oops, there it is. Got the scope uh, because of the thick lines around the um, crosshairs. Um, so I actually just gone to the A5 winning coal. So a uh, bit better. Might be a bit tricky to actually, you know, adjust or aim for the shot long distances. But I want to try this one out instead. Uh, but everything else we pretty much left, left stock standard. Um, just to note, you got a lot of few things to unlock, like the different magazines. Um, you get different uh, abilities. You know, this one's got increased damage, might be useful down the road. But uh, you gotta unlock it. I haven't done it so yet. Haven't played the weapon. Haven't played with the weapon much at all. But uh, we'll just leave pretty much everything standard for the time being, and we'll take a spin and see what we can do against some targets. So let's just get back out of here now. What I do like about this is the sound of it when you fire it off. So let's just test it out. And also the reload animation there of, over the shoulder looks nice. So let's uh, try it again. Nice beefy sound. And yeah, as you can see, the reload to put another bullet into the weapon does take some time. But uh, yeah, you can get some really nice shots. Uh, I think with this weapon for me, it does feel very satisfactory getting uh, long range kills if you can actually get um, them to land. Let's try um, the targets over here. Uh, what's the distance for this target in the distance? 150, okay. Um, okay, we've got a range of about 100. Let's try aiming about here, I think. Ooh, directly between the eyes, very nice. Uh, I think this one's about 100 meters. Yeah, nice shot too. Okay, um, not much really more to say about this weapon. You know, you gotta reload it after every single shot. So just be careful if you're gonna take on a lot of multiple enemies uh, in quick succession. Um, you don't be you know up close and personal too too. Oh, sorry, up close and personal to too many enemies. I uh, wanna try and keep some distance because after every single shot, you gotta reload the um, the weapon. So just keep that in mind. But uh, one thing I also wanna note is that because it's quite loud. Go back to the workbench. If we check it out, select the muzzle. Okay, so we got 140 meters for the audible range. Um, now, if we're just going to choose like a suppressor, like this one, drops it down to 63 uh, meters, significantly quieter, but uh, quite a bit of a bullet drop and reduce of damage. Um, but you got a couple more suppressors to choose. Um, I think this one, the Mark II suppressor, is pretty much a good balance. Um, does reduce it to 77 meters. Um, but uh, you also reduce power. So I guess this is a good balance, I guess. Uh, personally speaking, I'd rather lose a tiny bit of power uh, just to gain the advantage of enemies not going to hear me from, what, 140 meters away. So if you're in close range, um, depending on the, the map or the mission, uh, it might come in very handy. So just keep that in mind. But uh, besides that, yeah, very, um, I guess for me, it feels unique because I don't know there's another sniper rifle that has just the one bullet. That might be. Um, I can't really remember off the top of my head. But uh, it does feel satisfactory getting, you know, this uh, massive um, bullet to travel such a long distance. And if you're able to aim correctly and nicely and take out an enemy, um, just, I don't know, for me, I'm trying to, I'm trying to lose my words. Uh, it feels really good. 
to nail those long shots there. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll load up a mission and see how we go with this rifle with no um, changes to the attachments that we've got on the screen right now. Okay, so we loaded up uh, Spy Academy, same as before, great map to test out long range weapons. Um, but uh, yeah, just gotta keep in mind, you know, 140 meters, the enemy's gonna hear me. Um, what's the distance for this guy down here? It's 140, so we're pretty much just out of range for them gonna hear me. I think there's somebody next to him, there is. What's the distance for this guy? 150, okay, so let's see if we can aim up for one of these guys. I think he was eating an apple and whoa, look at him fly backwards there. So quite powerful and as you can see, gotta reload, gotta wait for some time. Let's try that again. Whoa. That might be a bit hard to miss, but you can see from the power of the weapon, the enemy's kind of like fly or I wouldn't say fly but you know they kind of get propelled quite a bit um so yeah definitely interesting in that regards to see that happen uh just give an eye in case any other enemies hear me I know there's two over there that might hear maybe maybe not but we got four snipers to take out uh what I'm going to do I'm going to actually change over to match ammunition you know for some long range shots and also remember you're only using a five times scope or five times zoom scope so just gotta keep that in mind but uh Let's see which enemy seems to be okay to get. Oh, this guy, 369 meters. Let's just do 400. Oh, that's a bit hard to see. Oh, doing a cartwheel, so you can even see at that distance. With this uh, weapon, it does uh, cause them to you know, propel a bit after getting hit. Um, okay, this one is now 400 meters. Oh, he's still walking. We're going to get stationary. Okay, well, this is quite difficult to check out or to figure out. Let's see about here, I think. Oh, tagged him. Damn it. Yeah, having trouble this distance. There we go. Ooh, that caused him to twirl around. Okay, so yeah. Downside is that yeah, highest scope you can get is six times. I'm not too fond of the six time scope, so you're just using a five time scope. But uh because of the slow reload, you can't really, you know, try to get some quick shots straight after it's okay, let's do guy this guy if he's just stationary there. Nice. Damn, if it's looking like, you know, I won't say feel the pain, but uh, that does seem quite, you know, drastic. Oh, this should be a good clean shot, hopefully. Okay, not as clean as I liked it to be, but uh, okay. Oh, this guy's only what 200 meters away, I believe. Oh, look at that! Just totally. Oh, see, from that power, they just get blown backwards. Damn. Okay. Uh, let me just go back to regular ammunition. Let me see how we go against uh. Some other enemies closer now. This might be a bit tricky, but you know what? We'll give it a shot. But yeah, downside is that uh, it's quite loud, so just gotta keep in mind. Oh, these guys are. Oh, this, where are these guys? Is that someone there? Oh, they're normally here, aren't they? But because. There it goes. Because. Oh. I was gonna say, but because they can hear that, so. 
Well. Oh, and look at that. He's doing a front flip. Oh, I just saw his friend. Uh, what's his friend doing? Oh, I think I tagged him. Oh, the guy in the truck heard that. Oh, got him, did I? Oh, I think I got him too. Yes, just as he's walking out. Damn. Yeah, okay, so as you saw there, because of the distance they can get a bullet, uh, or the shot, I mean, pretty much even though I'm shooting from the spawn point, or near the spawn point, they heard that all going on. Hmm. They just gotta keep their mind. Okay, there's an enemy there that would have heard that, but. Oh, this oh, the two guys in the truck. I mean, the motorbike. Why did I say truck motorbike? Oh, I'm just gonna change this. Not change it. Not change the bullet. Change it to back to regular ammo. But uh, put a mine there because someone's gonna hear that. Yeah, this guy's gonna hear that. Oh, I see that. Yeah, totally, totally flip backwards. Okay, I'm sure his friend would have heard that from somewhere. Um, where's that alarm? Oh, I can't even see that alarm from here. I want to, oh, there he is. See, he just totally, whoa, I wouldn't say flew, but what happened there? He kind of like, the momentum of the bullet really took him out. Hmm. So I had to explain exactly what's going on. You know, I could have changed it to a subsonic round, but uh, that would defeat the purpose. Um, ooh, let's see if we can get this one. I just want to get rid of the alarm. There we go. Nicely done. Oh, more ammunition. Thank you. What? This guy didn't hear it? Oh, he'll, he'll know about it now. Oh, a massive cartwheel. Yeah, that's probably why I like this rifle in some instance or some way because of how powerful it is. Enemies just go flying. I keep saying flying. Technically, it's not really flying, but it does do the trick. Yep. So they pretty much just get spun around no matter what. Uh, can we get this guy from that distance? Oh, nope, he's hiding now. Oh, they're all hiding. Uh, I might need to reposition. Is that somebody there? Oh, there was somebody there. What's the distance? Oh, I don't know. Oh, he got smacked. What about our friend over here by the landmines? Oh, straight through the throat. Oh, well, that counted as a headshot. Oh, this guy heard something as well. Ooh, is he going to the ex red barrel? No, it's not going anywhere near the red barrel. Um, okay. Oh, now that everybody's, nope, everybody's heard stuff because of the distance of the, uh, the audible range. Hmm. Let me just, uh, regroup for a bit. Oh, so a moment, yeah. Can I get two for one, two for one. Oh, please be two for one. Oh, what? That should have been two for one. Oh, it is two for one, but it didn't. The animation was weird. It looked as though that the second guy didn't get hit during the slow mo. Oh well. That was very strange indeed. Oh, I thought I just saw some guy hiding behind there. Oh, he is too. Oh, is he gonna go go? Yeah. Ah, oh, I thought he was gonna go close to the explosive barrel, but oh well. There he is. Oh, that feels so satisfying that you know kill sound. Oh, is that somebody there? Yeah, there was. Okay, we're gonna move up a bit. Move up a bit. But uh, yeah, as so you can see, with the power of this weapon, enemies just. Well, I was going to say tumble, but you know. Oh, there you go. He twirled when I got him. Hmm. 
Where's the other guys? I feel as though s I'm missing somebody now. Um, but damn, that was pretty uh, satisfying in a way. Okay, what we'll do, we'll uh, change it over to put a suppressor on the weapon just to see the difference it makes in terms of uh, gameplay and see how we go. Okay, so we're back again, and this time we have a suppressor on the weapon. So it drops the audible range from 140 meters to 77 meters. Uh, that's the suppressor I'm using, the uh, Mark II. Um, so this guy was how how far away is this? was he? 140. Oh, okay, 140, 148. So let's see if we can get his friend first, who's having an apple. As you can see, Stu quite a bit of power. Made this enemy cartwheel. So his friend didn't know anything about that. Got taken out. Oh, this guy didn't know anything better. Let's see if we can get him out. Oh, he's moving. Totally just, I guess for lack of a better term, like a better word, they just get, you know, blown away by this uh, weapon. Uh, changing over to match ammunition to try and take on the snipers now. Um, let's see, this guy, once again, what's this? What's a 360 or 380? Okay. Oh, let's see if we can get this. Oh, he's walking. Damn it, a bit tricky. Okay, what about this one? Uh, 420. Might be able to find oh, some that's information quite here. tricky. Oh, can't really see much of the... Oh, I was going to say can't really see much due to the fog, but oh well. We managed to get the shot. That's uh, through the right arm. Okay, well, you can see how much he twirled there. But the kill is a kill, so we'll take it. Okay. Um, this guy's years and he is about there. Straight through the nose. Oh, look at him just get f flown backwards. Okay, so even though um, you lose a bit of power by using this suppressor, um, it's too devastating as you can see. Um, is that the guy over there in between the gap? Or is this two? Oh, is he moving? Um, I'm not sure if he's moving or not. You know what? We have this guy first. I mean, we'll take this guy out first if we can. He's looking at me. Oh, straight through the neck. I definitely do like the uh, reload animation for it. Uh, oh, where's his friend? There he is. Oh, I hope he's not trying to walk away. Okay, 400 meters again. That's 400, wasn't it? 421. Something about yeah, I think. Oh, another neck shot. Oh, look at him, just flies backwards. And this is a devastating weapon. Um, oh, that's, an, that's just a random soldier, not the sniper. Okay, we'll let him be. Uh, change it back to normal or standard rounds, and then we'll take on the normal enemies around here. So these guys should not have heard the shot because of the suppressor. Yeah, they didn't hear it. That's good. Okay. Gotta reload. See, that's the downside because we've got enemies close oh, range. Ass. You're gonna have to reload, to and it takes time. Oh, 
Oh, nice. So you can get a truck driver. Nope. I better move. What? Oh, I thought that would have been a clean hit. Okay, that's a clean hit. Hmm. Okay, let me just uh, plant a booby trap here. Don't want to get surprised by um, somebody, but was oh, this guy that was down years before. There he is. Hello. Oh, he kind of full black as well. Oh, did these guys do anything? Oh, I don't think they did, but maybe the other guy, the friend around here. Oh, might as well just take a random shot. Ooh, getting some nice kills. Oh, nice. He really spun around there. Hmm. Um. Oh, can't get the alarm from here. That's okay. Move up a bit. There it is. Uh, 157 meters away. I think about yeah. Nice. Ammunition. Uh, oh, gotta try and adjust with this guy now. Oh, through the head and into the right lung. Oh, did this guy see it? Nope, he will soon. Oh, through the cheek. Okay. Oh. That guy just totally... Damn, he uh, flew for sure. Hmm. Oh. Can I get this guy? Is he near that barrel? Can't see. It's behind the box. I think in hindsight I would have got him if I shot the explosive um, canister, but oh well. A kill's a kill, right? So that's fine. Oh, okay, he also got knocked back. Oh, what? I missed. Explosive shot, please. Okay, that guy really flew. <laughs> Damn. What? He didn't notice anything? Okay, well, he did now. Hmm. Yeah, getting some nice kills, but damn. That was pretty sweet. Um. Oh, what about enemy down yet? Oh, this guy did not yet anything at all. Wow. Yeah, so with the suppressor, it really makes a difference. Enemies don't hear anything from a good distance, so keep that in mind. You know, if you want to have a bit of fun, um, take the suppressor off. Just use the standard uh, muzzle or even make it louder. So, you know, you get um, uh, attraction from the <laughs> enemies. Uh, not that kind of attraction, but, you know, enemies know there's something going on. So they'll investigate or they'll try to uh, stop you. But if you want more stealth, then I definitely put suppressor on. But damn, that's pretty interesting. Uh, both, uh, I guess, playthroughs, um, suppressor or no suppressor. But either way, this weapon does pack a massive punch, um, and it's uh, actually pretty sweet. Oh, uh, can I get this guy? Oh no! Nope. Oh, he's hiding now. I think I scared him off. Yep, 
I kind of stuffed it up. Uh, not really the best way to end it. Oh, can I get him now? Yes, I can. Cool. Okay. Sweet. So I think on that note, we'll end it here. But uh, if you're new, please subscribe. And we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.